flow, it's pars, and I'm burning up for you. Literally burning in my fucking attic right now. I'm sweating up a storm, or at least I'm beginning to do that. Uh, under most circumstances, I wouldn't be wearing pants right now, but for the sake of the fact that my legs might be caught on camera, I would rather be caught wearing pants than not wearing pants. Uh, and of course, I mean, it's the nature of living in an attic. Is you're kind of living in the inside of a car except on top of the house. So if the fans aren't on and the windows aren't open, you're kind of screwed. And even if they are open, you're still kind of screwed because it's still going to be like 10 degrees hotter than it is everywhere else in the world. Uh, and right after I finish this, I'm going to work out in my room uh, and sweat up more. Hit the grind. You got to get the grind. Uh, so we're going to see what's in this box. It wasn't supposed to come until tomorrow, but I guess it came early base dhl dude this is why i use dhl every time they dhl is the only service provider who's delivered shit to me earlier rather than later like consistently dhl has never been late and i've been using them for a number of years now at least since i started regularly using ami ami like in 2018 I always take note of this on the inside flap of the boxes. Now you can't even see it on the camera. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. This is such a terrible recording position. But on the inside of Ami Ami boxes, it says right here. I think this is like the box size. So for reference, if anyone cares about that, I I got an HL2 box. Uh, I mean, I've been getting these boxes for a while, so I'm, I'm starting to take note of the sizes. It probably doesn't mean anything to any of us. Uh, got the goodies. Goodies, thank you for shopping. I have a collection of these bad boys. So inside, there should only be two items. We're going to put down the knife for now, because that could potentially hurt anything in there. First up, where is this thing? Hold on. We have a Junko Fumo from the recent Fumo drop. I was intend intending to get a couple more Fumo, but I just ended up getting Junko. Because uh, as the Fumo drops continue, some of the characters I'm not necessarily as into. And I'm sure there are other people more into them, so... At least just personally, I don't see a huge value of having characters I don't care about. Um, but next up is the excited thing. The opposite of a character I don't care about. We, we got a big Koishi here, holy crap. Dude. I saw the box and I was kind of, I, I didn't know how I felt initially. Because I was like, this box looks smaller than I expected, but at the same time, it's kind of large. I didn't know how big she was going to be. But here she is. Uh, let me get her out of the box and adjust the camera, then I will do a comparison shot between... Uh, this is like a medium-sized Koishi. It's not the Deka Fumo. It's like the medium-sized ones that go for like a hundred and like fifteen hundred yen. I think is is the price. Uh, I might be wrong though, but they're like the mid-tier ones, not the five hundred dollar Fumos, but the ones in the middle. Um, so yeah, it's time to do a little comparison. See what is in here. I'm figure out the best course of action, how to open this bad boy. Uh, here is a quick little comparison, size comparison for reference. There's a regular Koishi and uh, medium sized Koishi uh, right there. I did notice while trying to stand her up that her head is so heavy relative to her body size that, like, you don't really notice this too much with the regular Fumo. I mean, I guess you kind of do uh, because sometimes you can have trouble sitting them, but generally speaking, they sit fine. Uh, proportionally speaking, they're all right. But the, the bigger Fumo, like, you have to, like, sit them down into an actual couch or something because they're so large and, I mean, it, it's like the structural integrity is not there as compared to a regular Fumo, but... There's a size comparison for you. Um, while I was trying to stand her up, I, I just couldn't help but 
like look at her hat and think that I can wear that hat right now. I, I, I mean, her, that head is comparatively at least similar size to my head, so I probably can wear her hat. Um, and I guess for science now I have to try it on. I just checked it on. I put on her hat. I'm wearing it right now as we speak. Uh, and it's actually kind of big. It's like probably a little bit bigger than a normal hat that uh, someone would wear like this. Because uh, it doesn't actually fit. Like it would fly off immediately in the wind. But um, I need to keep the hat off her uh, so I can like sort of adjust it. Because you can kind of see like during the, the, the shipping like it got kind of damaged right there. Well, not damaged but like folded. Same thing right here. I'm just going to like let it sit, sort of adjust it. Um, yeah, that was about it. Just two items in this haul. Uh, mostly just the big koishi. It was kind of hilarious because the box is so relatively big. And then when you lift it, it weighs nothing because there's just two fumo inside of it. But that's about it for this, uh, this haul. Uh, this was from April. I have nothing coming in May. Uh, so I plan to ha accordingly since I go to a convention this month. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.